Good morning. Morning, everybody. Morning. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, your resident pirate here. Good morning. Good evening. Morning. Good morning. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. That's my hair. Oh, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. I think this little morning video ritual, well, might become just that, a ritual. So I'm navigating on my phone with Google Maps, believe it or not. That's pretty much how I do these journeys. It's very simple. You can do it too. I'm heading all of the way from Oslo to Helsinki on a Hobie kayak. Just uh, casually standing here, lifting the front of my canoe, draining the water out. I hope you can hear it, otherwise I'm just a man next to a lake holding the front of a canoe in the air. And I'm doing this journey because I want a big adventure, not just because I want to disprove this myth that gingers can't go anywhere with high levels of sun. Who better to show you how it works in an excitable young German child I met on the canal? There's a beaver. Very industrious, they've taken the forest down behind me. I think it says a lot about me though, that even though I'm staying in the grounds of a castle, I'm probably more impressed by the fact that they have a resident pedalo. Good morning. Well, actually, it's good evening, but I'm showing you this tomorrow morning. So actually, it's from last night, yesterday evening, which is now for me. So I did what only a modern day adventurer could do. I sent my drone up to see whether there was indeed a channel. I camped out on the Fjok Islands. Don't laugh. There's a woodpecker just gently pecking away at a branch directly above my tent. I wonder if he's in cahoots with the angry beaver. Hmm. I'm in my hammock, oh, and I'm really happy to be in my hammock. I slept in. Oh, I'm so naughty. Look at these two. Unbelievable. Not even pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> I arrived at half past ten in Berg last night in pitch darkness, the guy who ran the hostel had left a message saying, there's some keys in the letterbox, the place is all yours. Isn't that amazing? Got some pan au chocolat for breakfast. La! The fog is up. That's the water over there. You're gonna have to trust me on that. I hope you have a lovely Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? And about one meter from the water after that final lock, bearing in mind I've done 45 or 50 different portages, not one, but both wheels fell off. Man, I am a lucky teddy bear. I don't really know why I said teddy bear, but I think you get the gist. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today, I'd like to show you Hobie. I've developed a really clever way to remove the water. It's basically, well, it's like this. A Little bit of bouncy, nothing wrong with that. Are you smoking? No. <laughs> Endurance athlete. And then it cooled down and I slept in the sauna. That, my friends, is adventure. <laughs> Signing out from... <laughs> right in Finland. There we go, <laughs> you've done this before. <laughs> I've traveled here so slowly. 29 days ago, I got in the Hobie kayak for the first time and started pedaling. And now 600 miles later, I'm in Stockholm for the first time in my life. It's such a lovely reward. Signing out for now. Enjoy your breakfast. Do that wonderful thing, which is actually writing on a piece of paper and putting it into a post box. It's almost a lost art now. See this rope behind my head? Things have just got interesting. Yep. I now have a sail. Is anybody else excited? Because I am. I'm about 20 miles outside of Stockholm now, weaving my way through the archipelago, or at least I will be once I get on the move and this fog clears. If I do disappear for a few days, please don't be worried. You can see exactly where I am on the tracking map. This was the section, the open water section, the crossing of the Baltic from Sweden to Orland, Finland. Hair standing up on my arms and the back of my neck. Tension, nerves, excitement. And if I can see land, it's a long, long way away and it's totally up to me to get there. I love that feeling. You know, when you pack new experiences, into as many moments as you can. You kind of weigh time down and it seems to travel slower. I guess it's maybe a metaphor for life. Sometimes things do fall down, but it's up to us to build them up again. Man, I feel so at home out here. The first couple of days leaving Oslo, I was really unfamiliar with Hobie, with where everything went, but now 
I couldn't be more familiar with it. This is truly home. You know, packing up in the morning is just a case of slotting everything into the puzzle and I kind of know what the puzzle looks like now. Nini, any advice for wannabe adventurers? Uh, you need to have warm clothes when you come to Finland. Hope this guy gets to Helsinki. Oh, that's nice Safe and sound. I will. <laughs> Don't worry. I will. The temperature has plummeted to three degrees this morning. It was below zero last night. Everything has changed. It is exactly one week today that I hope to arrive into Helsinki and I'm not going to do that by just sitting still. <laughs> There's another metaphor for life for you. But now the sun has climbed and inched its way behind a black cloud. Well, it seems to be taking up the majority of the sky. I don't know if it's so much about strategy as just perseverance and determination for the rest of this one. Now this hasn't happened before on this journey. I'm on TV! If you can see behind, there's about 20 fishermen who aren't talking to each other. No, no, no. Isn't, definitely. isn't fishing a very <laughs> <laughs> unsocial hobby? It is a very unsocial in Finland especially. <laughs> you don't talk, you just fish. It came across... A quass? Came across quite nicely. <laughs> I arrived in Bromarth last night with a 150 meter portage ahead of me and of course I don't have any kayak wheels anymore. There was a lovely woman named Helen there with her dog Nasty. She called her husband Kay. He came along with a tractor. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. Oslo is such a long long way away. When I started I couldn't even I couldn't even start to think about Helsinki, what the place looked like, how I'd feel when I got to Finland, but now I'm here it's just absolutely gorgeous. But the sun is out which is great. It's almost a peace of mind. If you capsize, at least you're gonna get warm fast. <laughs> if there's a sunset going on behind me and I'm still on the water, it probably means I haven't found somewhere to camp yet. <laughs> but that's okay, because when it's dark, you can camp pretty much anywhere and nobody will find you. It always works out for the best, always. I'm tired, I'm slowing down. <laughs> And then I looked up and there was another hobie there, a yellow hobie. I was like, what am I doing over there? It's right at the end of September. The trees should now be the same color as my head. There is a goal and there is a purpose. 1,000 miles. There is no way I'm getting to Helsinki on 998. That would be really embarrassing. I'm joined today by Leif, who is a freelance photographer and he's taking photos for Finland's biggest newspaper, the Helsinki Sanomat. Five miles in front of me is Helsinki. The thing is, I turned up and no one's here. It's really awkward. Um, I had to go around in circles. No, I'm only joking. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Journey number 11 of Expedition 1000 complete. Oslo, Norway to Helsinki, Finland by Hobie Kayak. Come on! Adventure makes us rich. And I don't have any money. <laughs> Good night.